surprise. You bring out something like Azoth. Oh, okay. sticking well, with the Thor. All right, I'm privy to a little bit of extra information than you folks <laughs> because I'm sitting looking at the lobby here and I see Goddess, she locked in the Thor with that extra point of defense. There you're seeing it. You you just, you had the early read away in advance. Uh, it is going to be the Thor like you were predicting going in for game number one against Power on the Rayman for the loser's final. All right, so this is best three out of five. The loser of this, they're gonna end out in third place. The winner gets a shot at grand finals. Who's gonna get that shot at Tyler Alice, who has 3-0'd his way through this bracket so convincingly. Power, unfortunately, gonna disarm himself. Hit the weapon toss with the ax, but was not able to pick it up as he put himself into active frames on that neutral line. Right now, damage build not really going one way or the other. They're kind of just scrapping back and forth, looking to get a read. No extended strings just yet. Jockeying for position back and forth. If, if Power is able to make use of a lot of those big dunking, the axe down signature, the gauntlet ground pounds, even the gauntlet down signature here because the walls are so short, I think that would work wonders when you're trying to chip through high defense like Thor. Yeah, I can just deny stocks oh. down air. Will do it. Power going to take the first stock off of Goddess. Yeah, and that's, that's what we're really looking for. You don't have to chip all the way through that defense to knock them out off the map if you can just prevent them from making it back to the stage. Goddess went for the reaction there. You saw the down light into the down Ooh. air. Uh, interestingly enough, could have gone for the end sig considering it is Thor who has that stacked end sig option, but instead uh, will still find the knockout with that side air. Yeah, that's one of those options that you've just got to be hyper-focused and sure that you are close enough for that to connect. Because I would, oh my gosh, Ooh, there's no. one and the chop down just enough to make it back to the wall. Yeah, Power thought she was dead to rights, went away from that, but Goddess, again, that high defense Thor, we've seen Thor extend stocks so incredibly long, and there you're seeing it again. Now juggling Power up, the orb just flying back and forth, keeping him on his heels. Interesting oh option. Gosh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I would have I would have expected I I think he probably was trying to go for some sort of like chase dodge into that down down air but just couldn't get the range go for the weapon toss uh, going for another one goddess not able to find the hit on the down taking power able to get back and steal that weapon advantage goddess is going for these risky plays with these gravity cancels still got oh. past power! i can't believe goddess got all the way through that entire axe ground pound that was crazy the most perfect of dodges with such a clean dodge. Goddess does find the side air and will get that stock advantage, but deep red power can get this, even this up immediately. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't care how much defense Thor has. That, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, has to go for the extra follow-up to secure the knockout. Yeah, that, that's a, you got to double tap that zombie right there. Power though has the weapon advantage. Goddess with the unarmed doesn't even care about it, is just getting more damage put out on the power. Yeah, I mean, you've got to assert your dominance early in these sets. It seems like when somebody gets the advantage, they've just been running away with it. So many bicycle kicks use it to approach. Just that range on that down air. Goddess using it kind of like a bow down air that we used to see a long time ago. Is just like poke yeah. forward because it's got so much range on it. And that's game number one going the way of Goddess. That was solid. The, the last stock, Goddess really just seemed to get a read onto Power's movement and was just blocking him at every pass. Yeah, just those those down airs started to honestly feel oppressive uh, going at power. Just power just couldn't find a way past this barrage of orbs. And now we're seeing he's, he's like, all right, I'll just play a different character. Go over to the Val with high de higher defense. 
uh, good movement speed, good abilities to move around that orb, and will still retain the gauntlets from the Rayman. Now this is interesting, just because there was so much work being done by the axe. You know, even punishing some of the gravity cancels, it really just seemed to pay out, just because it is so high damage, so high force per move. Yeah, and going from that to uh, to Val, just a very low strength character, could start seeing that hurt a little bit, but as long as power is getting those extensions, getting those three hits will not even matter until it's time to knock out the stock. Man, but it seems like power, for whatever reason, his gauntlets on Val play completely differently from the gauntlets on Rayman. He just seems to be finding every read. Do you ever feel that way? Like, I, I swear, when I play some characters like that have higher movement speed, like the weapons just play completely different. Yeah, I mean, that is incredibly fair, just because your, your positioning is so incredibly important in platform fighters. So usually you feel like, ah, that'll be a little bit too far for Rayman to make the jump, maybe. But Val, oh, she's right there every time. That's what we're seeing as Power able to get the clean knockout with the down light recovery. Going to wait a little bit before denying this weapon pickup again. Trying to delay that weapon spawn from Goddess for a little while. But Goddess does find the hammer pickup. Ooh. Stomp side air and clearing that out before taking virtually any damage. Goddess bringing it just dead even between these stocks. Yeah, that's like a neutral light in terms of damage difference. Uh, power does yeah. find more neutral lights, so damage difference a little <laughs> bit wider now. Neutral light difference, you say? Why not two, three, four? Just a couple more. Nice side air from Goddess will shove power array away. Power is going to swap on over to the gauntlets. Of course, that comfort weapon retained from the previous character pick. Ooh. Red to the outside. That would have been the odd option for sure. These gauntlet ground pounds, I swear, I don't know how Power keeps landing them in just such weird situations. Throw them out in neutral, throw them out all the time. Nice recovery though from power. Again, he's, he's changing up the timing on that sidelight. We saw Goddess reacting earlier with just an immediate spot dodge. Power recognized it and now he's slowing it down, waiting for the reaction from Goddess before going for that recovery. Oh, just snuck underneath. And there it was, that gauntlet recovery you were looking for. Sealing the deal, bringing it now two stocks to one. Couldn't quite answer. Demon Island does have a pretty tall ceiling. Yo, but uh, not as tall, uh, or I guess wide. Not as wide. Looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> English, you know. Not quite as wide. Very tall, not, not as, as wide. It's a skinny tall. state, you know? It's very lanky, Demon Island. <laughs> It'd be real good at basketball. What? No, oh, wait. no, yeah, that's actually totally what we're trying to describe. Either way. <laughs> Final oh stock here in game number two. Yeah, talking about basketball, just hoping that somebody can land these dunks that they need. The ball is in Goddess's court, but right now, Power giving the hands. Yeah, a little bit of traveling here from Goddess, though. Might need to see a ref come in on this one. Uh, my, I'm, I'm starting to question Odin a little bit right now, but we do see there's a couple oh, bounces no, coming out from Goddess. Thing. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there, Duke, because it's only traveling if you're holding on to the ball. Right now, Thor has never retained control of it physically. <laughs> it's, it's just floating next to the hand. It's fine. Nice <laughs> yes. down air. Just just goddess. Just. <laughs> goddess just suggesting that the ball should knock out her opponent, and it so obliges. What a kind orb from Go or for Goddess. That's going to be the second game going the way of Goddess. Again, those dare finishes, and it's on power to find a solution to the dare problem. Those orb dares just flinging them at the opponent like a yo-yo, but deadlier. We'll see what power can do as he swaps back to the Rayman for game number three. All right, so maybe if a floating orb was a little too hard to handle, what about just floating extremities? Hands, feet. Everything, technically his head too. Yeah, there is no neck. Honest, okay, here's a question then. We talked a little bit about basketball. If the ball is in the person's hand, then it's called traveling. But if the hand is not attached to the body, is it traveling? 
one brawl. I don't know. That that's a pretty good question because if they if the rules specify it's the hand, then I don't think it matters if the hand is connected to the body or not. You just got to worry about the hand. Oh! Oh! What tragic? What? What? Into an armless push-up power. How are you this savage? Disney's Gaston is upset about that armless push-up, but power is not upset about getting that first stock untouched. Zero to death in favor of power. And Goddess is upset. Look at the way she's charging forward. Wants to even this one up immediately. I mean, yeah, you can't give up momentum like that. Goddess, she was sitting with 2-0 lead into the set and power just said, no, no. That's done. We're done here. Thanks, but try again. No, oh, but one good hit from Goddess, and this could be almost even. Power is getting a little bit of damage built up on the second stock, but Goddess definitely outpacing Power at the current state of the game. Little bit more to go. Oh, the weapon toss far outside. And now it's up to Goddess to stem the flow of damage, turn on her own, and just hope hope it's enough to overtake the bleed that Power built. Ooh, big string, big string! Nice four hit in favor of Goddess. Oh, no, not, 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 not again! Oh my gosh. Just plopping right down on her head. That axe down signature so threatening, especially when you know that your opponent is entirely out of options. Just burned all the options. That is one of the pitfalls of playing that orb is you do have to burn jumps to extend those strings. And God is unfor unfortunately burning a little too much. Jeez, how are really just turning the pressure on increasingly so. Tons of damage onto Goddess. How are setting up for the knockout, but lightning does strike at least once, not twice. Never twice. He's the god of thunder. He can strike as many times as he wants it to. You're right. At least on a three-second cooldown. There it is. Oh, but converting that into an orb side air. That was a cool follow. Really solid. Here's the side light side air from Goddess. But she's got to play this last stock basically perfectly at this point because she's fairly damaged in these final moments. But at the same time, she's okay because it's just game number three and she's up 2-0. Well. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really count out just yet because you see that tall ceiling. Some of Rayman's main knockout potential takes a little longer. And especially because Goddess landed a number of the... Oh, never mind. Absolutely never <laughs> mind. It only took one more uppercut. That's what happens when you are that far up in the sky. And there you saw Just at the very end of that one. Sorry, there you see at the end of that one was that delay from power on that side light. Wait, and you saw Goddess immediately spot dodge and that was when the recovery connected. Really well done from power, just retaining that knowledge of how Goddess reacts to that. Out of that side light, like you were talking about with these string heavy weapons, you gotta pay attention to the dodges. Yeah, that, that's really just how you turn in, you know, the occasional combo into just monumental runs. And it looks like we're going to a very different map, Mammoth Fortress. We've got larger walls here. You know, the ceiling isn't quite so tall. It's a very standard stage. Yes, it's just a good old classic tournament map. At one point was basically the only map tournaments were played on, but we got a lot more maps in the map pool that people are uh, getting comfortable with since that time period. Yeah, I, I do like the little bit of the change because Power, if he wants to make this comeback, you know, you, you can't always rely on getting those uppercuts halfway up the stage as far as like bringing them up into the sky is. You're probably gonna have to do some more of those side light recoveries at around the one jump height. So you want a slightly lower ceiling for those. Oh, that is going to be nice. On the other side, though, longer walls, so will be harder to hit those axe down signatures that we saw connect on the second stock, mm. but good connection from power. Did find the sidelight. You saw him wait, but Goddess reacted differently this time. Jeez, Goddess just exerting so much pressure onto this corner, even gets the dash jump down air, bouncing it off of the soft platform.
Throwing out more down airs towards Power. Both of them in the red. Hunting for whatever's going to be the strongest knockout move, the side air. Orb side air is a great move. It just takes a couple of them to seal the deal because it doesn't have a ton of force behind it, but it's really good at creating space. Yeah, it just puts them in that awkward position where now they're forced to use a lot of movement to try to get back up. And now God is going to try to get that extra credit. Ooh, ooh! Yeah, you can actually bounce folks off of the ground with the back end of that down light from the orb. And I love seeing just the kind of uh, responses and follow-ups that Goddess has to it. Yeah, and that, uh, stop, that kind of- tied up. Here's the thing. Goddess is sitting on set point. So any little bit of an extra lead that she can build means that much more to her than it does to Power because he, he's got to win this match and then another to stay alive in the tournament. But Power does have kind of the game momentum as far as uh, recent wins in this set goes. Not exactly in this specific game as Goddess is hitting these oh, no. big oh, oh, hammer no. swings. Cider? Not even gonna try? I think he, he noticed he was a little bit too far. That one side air wouldn't have made it. And then his dodge was already on cooldown. No recovery, no jumps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust him on that. No, Galaxy Quest, never give up, never surrender. All right, you're right, you're right. Alan Rickman forever. <laughs> Rest in peace, my man. Side light, neutral air, goes for the recovery, but a little bit too high on that one as God has had the spot dodge in place. Power's looking for the side air. He's burning a lot here. Ooh. Does find the recovery. Geez, damage certainly starting to build, but Goddess hanging on. Oh my gosh, just gets underneath that signature. That surely would have been the end of that stop. Good spot dodges on each side. Recovery from Power will put them on even stocks, but still, this is potentially his tournament stock. Goddess could just go over to the hammer, get a couple downlight side airs, and walk away with the dub. But Power's going to try to deny the weapon. Can't quite do so, and Goddess does find that hammer. Jeez, so either Goddess is going to get the win right here and move on into Grand Finals, or we're about to see the greatest gauntlets play in the history of Brawlhalla. Well, it helps that he's got those secret extra gauntlets. Charged up the weapon toss, leaving her wide open for the side light from Power. But still, the damage advantage is in Goddess's court. Ooh, just snuck under and around all of these the, the bicycle kicks. Power just seems to know exactly where the opening is. His movement is starting to come out here. Throws out the fist. Whoa. Goddess going to get caught. Oh, yo, is he going to it? The damage! Let's go! Power keeping it alive! Those ground pounds, even with a fade to the front. Now we've got a serious match. Two to two. Game five. Oh my gosh, the movement on the end of that too. Just outspacing just enough and then saw that he wasn't going to get caught. And he's like, all right, ground pound time. Ooh -ooh. Man, and that was a big brain play on the last one, too. Doing the gauntlet's ground pound, fading not towards the wall, but outside. Knowing that, ah, I think you're going to be scared to go to the wall. So you're going to go to the outside thinking, I'm going to go to the wall and I'm just going to win. I mean, she she just burned her dodge, right? Like, she did the gravity cancel yeah. neutral sig, which burns your air dodge. So she really didn't have any options. He was like, all right, I'm just going to go for this. What are you going to do? Hit me? Oh, no. I can kill you right now and take this to game number five. And that's exactly what happened as we get right on in to game number five of the Losers Final. Yeah, that was absolutely crazy. Power, you know, he's got to be feeling himself after that one. I'm, I'm just expecting free, loose movement, confident decisions right now. It seems to be working out. Chain Ooh, dodge kind of right trying. Yeah, I mean, that that's gutsy because if you go for the attack and they just cover that space, you'll get hit meaty out of that dodge. <gasps> the read! Finally! Indeed. 
finally, after four previous games of not really getting any of the solid dodge reads out of the side light, God has always found the proper escape. Now, how are getting hurt? There's this entire meta game that is happening between the side lights and Goddess's dodges, and I just love to see that play out. But currently, power over to the axe. I'm gonna try to get some of these big swings to get a bigger damage advantage. Yeah, it only takes a couple of those to build up. Even if Thor has some of the highest defense in the game and the defenses, my gosh, the, the helicopter into the extra projectile fists. Power has landed that a couple times now. Excuse me, did you just say helicopter? I sure did. <laughs> Officer, please. You've never heard Is that, that before for Rayman? <laughs> You've never thought of that before? You're just like the hair helicopter. How can I make this shorter? Yes, helicopter. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, puns are not quite my forte, but Power is still uh, extending this first stock. We've seen some fantastic stock extension from Power in some previous games, and we're seeing it again here in game number five, where it basically matters the most right now. Yeah, Rayman looking to just sell his own brand of barbecue sauce because that is where his health has been sitting a couple times this set. A little bit of catch up, a little bit of Worcester, but not a lot of room to avoid that recovery from Goddess. And that will be the stock evener, but still Goddess very far behind here. You saw that damage just be built up on the second stock. Yeah, if Goddess can land just one of those solid orb strings, I mean, that'll bring it right back. Guarding the weapon. Ooh, sneaking right by Goddess. She's quick to be caught. Oh, but she's in trouble. It's passed, but Power just lets her get passed because he can set up for that side air. One more hit, but Goddess avoids it. Oh. Hold on for a brief moment. Kind of guarding that, that extra point of the additional weapon. But there it is, the rainbow toss now over into the gauntlets. This is where we've been seeing, yes, that uppercut once again from Power, one of those main knockout tools. Oh, that was the recovery, but Goddess, fortunately, on that fresh stock, not going to get launched too far from that down sig, but the damage Whoa. is adding up. Oh, no. Jeez, Thor just tossing Mjolnir out to try and put a little bit of a pause on this massive onslaught. Power will not let up. And each of these swings brings victory oh closer God. and closer to the gauntlets <laughs> of Power. Ooh, just getting right behind the axe slide. Surely just one strong hit will be enough to take out Thor. The neutral light, not yet enough. Making her way back to the stage. Again, extra damage onto Power. Goddess, no, out of here! And Power moving on. Three, two, such a clutch turnaround last game into this one. Now he's got the shot in grand finals against Kyler Alice. He's making the lower bracket run, coming in here on the bottom side of top eight. Even going through the person who knocked him into the loser's bracket, I had to go back and look. So I was like, "How? what is this run that Power is doing? Power got knocked out or got knocked into the loser's bracket by Doggo 3-1 just before top eight and has been making this loser's bracket run and is now seeded to go up against Kyler Alice, the number one seed of the tournament for the grand 